Marvel League Star Wars. My name is Sean. I'm sitting here with Brooks. Hey, everybody. Welcome to issue 19 of the original Marvel comic Star Wars. Trapped on a man-made wheel of death. Of death. I love this because it's got like a big red skull for no real reason. So it's very abstract and stylized kind of rendition. Because <laughs> the wheel space station doesn't have a big head in the middle. That is interesting. You know, I've seen this cover before when I was, you know, over the years, but I've never noticed that. I never really paid attention to that before. Yeah, it's awesome cover design. I like it. Got their floating heads. The Star Warriors. I like how we're just going to stick with calling them the Star Warriors. I think that's also very cool. They face the ultimate gamble. So to catch you up from last time, those of you that haven't watched that or are, you know, it's been a minute since you watched it. The gang, the Star Warriors, have taken refuge on board the Wheel, which is a large casino ship that is supposed to be outside of the Empire's reach. They were running from the Empire, so that's why they took refuge on it. Luke is unconscious due to some kind of incident he had. Jedi trance attempt. So 3PO and R2 are taking Luke to medical care on board the ship. They got confronted by some stormtroopers who were going to destroy them. Uh, Han and Leia went off on their own to try to escape to the upper levels, which is where the Empire is not supposed to be. They got confronted by stormtroopers. And then Chewie, we don't know where he is, but he's carrying a dead body somewhere. <laughs> when you disappear by a dead body. So I would like to see what's going on with him more than the others. Yeah. Maybe he'll just like find a closet, open it up, supply closet, toss it in, shut the door and walk away whistling. You know? Nothing. Wacky hijink. It's going to be creepier if they do just cut back to him and doesn't have it anymore. And it's just understood that that's, that's a go-to thing. Here, Chewbacca, <coughs> you know what to do. That's why we keep Chewie around. Mm -hmm. He eats them. Going to need a Kessel run on this guy, you understand? <laughs> also, the, the administrator, I guess you'd call it, of this facility saw Leia on a view screen and recognized her. So now he's going to try to yeah. prevent, I suppose. He's a former senator. galactic senator. So yeah, He's going to try to prevent the Imperials from killing her. And that's where we left mm -hmm. off. So now we are returning to the wheel. Here we go. The ultimate gamble. There's one of the rebels for after. Vaporize him and his droids. R2-D2, forget about tapping the main computer system to locate hospital facilities for Master Luke. We're already doomed. Puppy derp. This is the wheel. A man-made space station. And here, in one of its lower level access corridors a race from its docking base to escape pursuing stormtroopers is about to end i like how as opposed to all of the naturally formed space stations this one this one's man-made <laughs> that is kind of some of them we just find but not in the way expected by the imperial troops as their fingers tighten on their blaster triggers Wha what some kind of Barrier coming down between us. It's called a door, dummy. It's a containment wall to seal off damage sections. Cease firing. Cease firing, or... Or the wall's blast shielding will cause the fiery energy bolts to ricochet back into those who shot them. Oh my God. What kind of With poor design is that? accuracy. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> Excuse me. He decimated those guys. I guess if it's a true laser, and we know they're not actual lasers, but you know, a true laser would travel almost not infinitely, Definitely, but yeah, but it's like yeah. it would just continue to travel until it. But these are supposed to be some kind something. of plasma or something. Is what the blaster? I don't know if they ever say. Using. I'm not nerd enough to know that. I'm, I'm nerd, sure but... somewhere in the expanded universe it said. That's amazing, R2. What an incredible stroke of luck for us. Do that right, we. You made that happen by tampering with the wall circuitry? Well, I don't think that's any excuse for name-calling. After all, you still didn't fulfill our primary task of locating the... Breep boop! You learned, where, you learned where the hospital is, too? How can one thermocapsuary dehousing assister be so intolerable? Wow. God, enough with the techno talk, man. I'm making me pronounce words I don't know how to say. 
R2 you is what proven. Thermo capsuary do you housing your sister is? <laughs> I thought you were in IT. Oh, well, no. not really. I'm in programming. It's not the same <laughs> yeah. exactly. Aren't you a computer guy? So I like how R2 is, is proving time and time again to be the most resourceful of all the characters. Luke Han, all of them. R2 always yeah. figures He's out something. He's the only something. one that does his damn job. And he doesn't have any arms. He still Look manages. at that Stormtrooper butt. Whoa. Did you see that? That was a very... <laughs> what is like, up with man. the way they draw? <laughs> yeah. And it's not just one artist. It's Now it's different artists doing it. Like I that's... think it's mostly Carmine Infantino oh, really? that has that level of articulation. Oh my gosh, dude. So for those of you complaining about the Lady Mandalorians in that one episode, just know They're sculpted if Infantino posteriors. were on the case, it'd be everybody. That question will be intensely debated throughout the journey to the Wheels Hospital facilities. And unknown to the two mechanized debaters, their progress is being carefully charted from the Great Space Station's executive tower. Excuse me, Senator Grayshade, but those droids carrying the injured young rebel seem to have outwitted Commander Strom's tro troopers. Strom's troopers instead of Storm's troopers. Strom troopers. Strom troopers. It's weird when I say it that way now. One of them actually had the audacity to tap into my system. Such initiative and devotion seems most unusual, sir. I'd like to study... Master Com, the only thing of those rebels I'm interested in is Princess Leia Organa. You have carried out my have you carried out my orders or are you too busy mooning over two fellow droids? <laughs> well, you're the one mooning over the princess. Sorry <laughs> to irritate you, Senator, but my <laughs> personalized form doesn't prevent me from performing multifunctions like any master computer system. All proceeds as you requested, jerk. Though, of course, we work on a very tight time margin. Remind me to compliment you on your choice of sanctuaries, Mr. Solo. If we get out of this alive... I like how their pistols are like... Kind of weird. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Just exactly. I can't even do my hand like that. I know, it's it's like it's not natural pew, at all. Pew, I can't pew. even find the camera. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time, your royalness. The Empire has always willingly kept his hands off the wheel until now. With Luke zapped by some kind of mental shock while meditating on the Force, we had to find medical facilities and fast. How was I to know that heading for here would bring us across a merchant ship scuttled by the Imperials, but made to look like it had been attacked by your Rebel Alliance? Or that one of the Empire's pursuit class cruisers would immediately hop on our tails, intent on nailing us as rebel pirates. Whatever they're really up to, our being dead plays too important a part to suit me. I'm not exactly pleased either, Han, particularly since they're charging us, and there's no way to stop them all. I like how, I mean, we have to have the exposition, I guess, to catch people up, but... They do it in a way where Han is just having this conversation while in the middle of a firefight, and he is like <laughs> literally explaining everything that happened to both exactly of them. Exactly, just happened. <laughs> yeah, imagine his like, head looks little and strange there in the middle of a firefight. There's no way to stop them all. I like how Leia still has her dress on and still has the buns. Like she hasn't changed her outfit, mm -mm. unless She's she has. She's not going to let the Empire do that to her. Maybe, the, maybe she has multiple white dresses like that and the buns is just you know it's too it's too the comfortable buns and convenient. Are just velcroed on <laughs> it's too comfortable and just... convenient a hairdo to actually she doesn't have time to make her hair fancier than buns but as the stormtroopers move in wheel security imperials thank you for detaining these interlopers we'll take it from here what what but our commander had already arranged with the wheel administrator that we could if there's a misunderstanding why compound it particularly from a weak defensive position. Yeah, these guys are always, like, tossing some shade. <laughs> Leave this matter to Senator Gray Shade. He's the wheel administrator? Han, I know him from my Senate days. He's utterly corrupt, contemptible, and... Obviously my kind of guy. If we're choosing between evils, Your Worship, I go with the one that lets you live longer. 
However, once the security guards have taken charge of their captives... Hey, what is this? Lady and I are a team. We stick together. Senator Grayshade thinks otherwise. Your life is now being measured by how cooperative you are in helping us search your ship and by what we find there. I like, you know, these guys are vaguely G.I. Joe, too. Yeah, I, it's the green. You know, the use of this sort of zip tone in the background, I wonder if they would have done that in the previous issue but just didn't have time because the solid color is what gives it away, but when they just use a sort of gradient or a shading kind of technique, I mean, why really is notice. it necessary? It, some of these bigger panels, they have walls and backgrounds. So they, they couldn't take the time just to draw. I mean, the walls are just some lines. They're just squares. I'm guessing that it is a time issue, yeah. Good grief, guys. I shouldn't criticize. Let me look at us. We cut corners constantly. Man, if you There's a comic tropes. He does a video about, uh, I can't remember who the name of the artist is, and it's fine, but it's a guy who just butchered Jack Kirby's art because they were showing, like, like side by sides of this penciling they'd done and this guy like just the lazy inks that took away a lot of the details just like Whoa, come on yeah, gotta break this out ain't nobody got time for that you know who needs that extra person in the frame is <laughs> like kind of egregious sometimes while that search is being conducted there is another fugitive from the millennium falcon unaccounted for his name is chewbacca he is a wookie and he is no longer conspicuously carrying a body. <laughs> so, I mean, he's he's like uh, R2. He's like, I do my job. <laughs> he has had more success than any of his friends at eluding the stormtroopers, despite not fitting in at all. Like, at least the other guys look like normal patrons, I, I guess. Know. He's got those, like, Bigfoot feet. I love how he just looks like a weird Sasquatch, like an orangutan kind of thing. Of course, for all I know, the wheels just cut littered with with wookies for all i know i mean it's it's possible yeah all of them disappearing bodies in fact despite having to hide the body of a slain rebel recovered from the plundered merchant ship at least they mentioned it <laughs> and he's got some kind of tool what is that i think that's just his gun but it looks weird oh yeah it does look weird he alone has enjoyed remarkable luck in reaching the group's goal the upper level of the wheel Unfortunately, that luck is about to run out. Yeah, see, there's all kinds of weirdos up here in the casino. Yeah, and that one did straight out of the Moss Eisley. Yeah. I like that. I can't remember his name. I think I've got yeah, that action figure somewhere. The so-called upper level of the wheel is actually a city lining its interior rim. It's a city maintained by artificial atmosphere and gravity. Like all ships are in Star Wars. <laughs> I think all, like anything in space in science fiction is. And devoted solely to pleasure, specifically the pleasure of gambling. The city has every conceivable luxury and facility a discerning visitor might require, but the overwhelming majority of its buildings are casinos. And it is an agreed-upon meeting place called the Crimson Casino that Chewbacca's luck sours. One moment, please, sir. Our entrance scanner has no printout on you. This would indicate you have not paid your wheel registration fee or established a credit level. Since you had to check your blaster at the door, we recommend that you come quietly to wheel security. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See how that goes? Werf, rag. Anyone may make a recommendation to a Wookiee. The difficulty, <laughs> of course, is Quack. getting him to go along with it. And he just killed that dude. He's like, and now I have your gun. And now dead. And what's funny is he already had a gun. So he just did that for meanness. Eliminating the man with the blaster is a good strategic move. But it also leaves Chewie open to the second of the Crimson Casino's bouncers. This guy looks cool. Yeah, I like him. I like his weird fangs, or whatever those are. Being an expert who finds himself rarely tested... He grabs the opportunity fast and hard. A, a brawl! Who will wager on the outcome? What odds? I'll back the Mandelian giant at five to four. When Mandelians are trained from childhood in the combative arts? Unfair. Your expertise equals mine. Very well. Since the Wookiee has only brute persistence in his favor, let us say, all bets are off. Crash. And the Millennium Falcon's first mate wins his battle. Good grief. They make him look like an invincible 
I know. I was. I thought, like, here we go. Here's, like, a big alien that's going to be... Who's there because he can bounce things like Wookiees. Like, nope. But he's trained in the combative arts. Mm -mm, At the matter. cost of arousing wheel security. Kapow! Yeah, should have done that first. I could save you some trouble going through a window. Did you see that? It took a maximum stun charge to bring him down. I've heard of Wookiees, but never seen one. What a specimen for the big game! And that's exactly where he's headed. The Furhead will find he's boarded the wheel for the ultimate gamble. And when he wakes up in the gladiator pits... Oops. Oh, yeah, when you... he wakes up in the gladiator pits. Did you just make little sparkles? <laughs> that's, all, that's all I think about now. I don't know what you're talking about. Thor 3. Oh, he's, okay. trying to break. he's like, did you just make little sparkles? Meanwhile... In one of the wheels' interior docking bays. You guys are destroying a work of engineering art, undoing years of special modifications. What do you expect to find? Wheel profits you pirated from a house of tag, merchant ship, rebel, and were authorized to carry out a death sentence if you don't start cooperating. I like how they're all just solid green. <laughs> Easy. They do look like just little space aliens. Or little little army, plastic army little men. Little Martians. <laughs> they do look exactly like army men. There's just one of them crawling on the floor. And, as this scene is video monitored to the wheel's executive tower, it is viewed by a recent arrival to the administrator's office suite. Gray shade! Ah... Uh. And you seemed so firmly resolved not to speak to me. Your brand of senatorial politics is still too fresh on my mind. But I believe I know what Han doesn't. Call off your men. Sounds as if you actually care for that vagabond starhopper. I care about many things, Simon Grayshade. That's the difference between us. You're easily amused, but never committed. Now, do you want to hear about hijacked wheel profits or not? I yield the floor to the beautiful princess senator from Alderaan. Alderaan is destroyed. Thank you so much for mentioning it. Mm -hmm. By the hand of the Empire. The same hand that grabbed your ships, your shipment of profits. Until I knew what cargo that merchant ship carried, I couldn't guess what the Imperials were up to. The Empire's never dared interfere with the wheel, for fear of ruining its popularity and value as a source of taxes. But if it appears to have become a target of the Rebel Alliance, they can justify a complete takeover in the guise of offering protection, and everyone will accept it. There are flaws, but what you suggest does seem typical of Imperial thinking. The best proof, of course, would be finding that pirated cargo, and... I have a theory about that. If you'll just sit and set me and my friends free, I'll... Nice try. Senator Grayshade, <laughs> Commander Strom is on his way here at the head of a squad of stormtroopers. He's furious over your interference in the hunt for the rebels, and I fear... Ooh, no. Fadow! We've moved too swiftly. We've moved too swiftly for your security squads or this walking master computer. Strom, I think you've gone mad. Merely reckless, Grayshade. Though not as much as you, or do you deny that's a rebel leader at your side? For harboring a fugitive like Leo Organa, I'm within my rights to execute you where you stand, Grayshade. And with my squad posted at your suite's entrance, no one will arrive to stop me. No one has to, Strom. Mastercom, disarm him! Zadak! My hands! Nice. <laughs> Weird exclamations. <laughs> My... my hands have been shot with a zap beam. <laughs> Not my hands. Making me drop my gun. Yeah, I need those to hold my guns. My beautiful hands. <laughs> Be glad they weren't blown off. Even if the master computer does automatically revert back to its original system when attacked, those robot bodies are expensive. Besides, I hate talking to walls. Actually, the old model was getting a bit worn, sir. I believe this new one will function even better. You can start by escorting Commander Strom into the antechamber. I want to talk to him, alone. 
Meanwhile, my suite is yours to feel at home in, princess. Enjoy yourself. And don't waste time looking for another way out. There isn't any. My suite has no ways out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, besides this one that we're leaving through right now. Moments later. Master Calm, you will not record or hear this conversation. What's this all about, Grey Shade? About our becoming partners, Strong. Nice. And drinking weird shit that comes out of the walls. At least it's green and not blue. <laughs> Partners? Now who seems to have gone mad? Strom, I know what the Empire is doing, but the supposed rebel theft of, we theft of wheel profits is the first step in a planned takeover. Done well, it's a, it's a scheme that could succeed. You haven't done it well, Strom. <laughs> Just never. <laughs> never complimentary. But no one, particularly your superiors, need learn that if I keep silent. In return for what, Grey Shade? The only thing all my charm and total lack of scruples ever failed to bring me. Princess Leia Organa. Incredible. You're actually a romantic. Yeah, that, that's what he is. A romantic. <laughs> it, it's, it, you know, this is romantic, you have to admit. We're bargaining for the princess. She I shall depends. be mine. <laughs> What's more romantic than that? <laughs> I'm gonna gonna forego making judgments. But what about her traveling companions? They can't. What's weird about this is, I mean, Gray Shade is way worse. But there's a lot of like this is super similar to Lando Calrissian making the deal he made with Vader mm. on Cloud City. Yeah, it's true. They can't leave without running into your military containment zone. I'll see to it that they can't stay that they can't stay either and live. I never thought I'd say this to a civilian, but I like your thinking. I hate civilians. Tink. Sometime later at the Wheels Hospital. This shock case is still here? I thought records indicated he wasn't registered. Master computer system authorized holding and treatment, doctor, until further orders. Unusual. What about those two droids you brought him? Right outside, I believe, Doctor. Near the computer relay bank. There's another similarity to Empire Strikes Back. Is every time Luke gets hurt, someone strips him down to a diaper. <laughs> yeah, is he? Like, why? Oh, yeah. What's happening? That's just I his... was just doing <laughs> a meditation. That's his underwear, man. That's what it looks he like. He just wears a diaper. I like how fat R2 is here. In grief. <laughs> R2-D2, hurry with those repairs. If anyone even suspects we tampered with communications to authorize Master Luke's hospitalization, I'm afraid... Fuss budget? I do it! <laughs> Fuss budget? Why, you misprogrammed sludge container. I... You're the ones I want. Come along quickly, or I'll use this disruptor in my other hand, probably. Yeah. No need yeah, for that, officer. <laughs> we're very... We're the very spirit of cooperation. Only concern for our sick master made us. That's nothing to me, droid. Your wheel property now. It's my job to get you into storage. Wheel property? Surely there's been an error, sir. Then someone made, named Han Solo made it. You've just been pawned to give him a gambling stake. <laughs> now shut up and move. I love it. Han. <laughs> I actually had a character in the Star Wars role-playing game, and... One of the other players was was my personal droid, <coughs> and, I, and I would, and I would put him up in bets because he was a game. My character was a gambler. It's terrible. Well, one day we're gonna have to talk about the difficult discussion of of, of droid what, ethics, of droid ethics in Star Wars. They are straight up property. Pop culture detective did a really good video about just exactly that, and I think it, not that long ago. So check. Let's see if we can put a link chance. to it in the description. Yeah, it's a good video. It's a good Res channel. Residedly, 3PO and R2 obey the security officer. Elsewhere, obedience is in shorter supply. These are the gladiator pits, located in the bottommost section of the wheel. Hurry with those control prods. That Wookiee's awake and not happy with his pit mates. <laughs> Poor guy. Rawr! Just threw a dude. Well, I, I was sleeping. <laughs> I feel like they had like extra green ink for this episode, this issue. They're like, man... 
We got an excess of green. Simple. We're gonna get rid of this stuff before it goes bad. It feels like we meant to make it uh, 3D and then just gave up halfway through. That's it. That's it. Keep it. That's it. Keep them at bay. Better listen up, big fella. You got an important decision to make. You're on the wheel illegally, and you've run up a lot of fines and damages. Well, this is payoff time. Rock! Look to go that dude's shirt. Poor Chewy. Chewy, show some class. You can volunteer for gladiator service in the big game, with a chance at a fortune if you're a winner. Starf! Or you can be dumped on a waiting Empire prison ship. Destination, the spy, Spine Mines? The Spine Mines. I'm sure they mean Spice Mines. I'm sure they mean the Spice Mines. Now why? Editors! The Spice <gasps> Mines of Kessel. Not much of a choice, is it, Fuzzy? <laughs> no, and now, see, Chewie apparently can kill anyone, so obviously he'd want to pick Gladiator Pits. But if it were me, I might go with those mines. Because I'm pretty sure I'd get pounced pretty hard. Yeah. You lose again, Starhopper. Blasted. I thought my luck had changed when Wheel Security let me off the hook on those piracy charges. Then they hit me with that, with what I owe if I want to stay on board. It's been downhill ever since. Oh, it's with terrible Chewie money management. <laughs> yeah, really. He's not much for thinking ahead. Chewie missing. Luke hospitalized and Leia held by the wheel administrator. I can't afford to get kicked off. Especially not when the Empire is waiting with open arms. Since the Falcon was confiscated against docking fees, all I could do was put the droids in hog and pray I could run up a big enough stick to bail us all out. I'll need more chips than this, cashier. Sorry, sir. That's all that remains of your credit line. <laughs> Poor Juan. Whoa. To wrong direction. I like treat yourself to a lubrication soaked tin britches. That way <laughs> I know I'm not the only one taking a bath. Nice. Sir, one moment, please. Poor Han. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of Though faith your credit in being is exhausted, little... it is still possible for you to gamble. And what do I use for stakes, cashier? Why, your life, sir. See for yourself. Han the ultimate Solo. gamble, high risk, high reward. Be a gladiator in the big game. Han Solo stares long and hard, then walks from the casino's atmosphere of plush excitement into one of cold desperation. <clears throat> Just let the scatter get an identiprint for the record, and congratulations, Karelian, you're a gladiator. Information that is swiftly relayed to the wheel's executive tower. What now, Senator Grayshade? Now we arrange for our smuggler captain to lose the big game. And just as certainly as we made him lose the others. Oh, so all the gambling was fixed. Ooh. Ah. God, that's just despicable. <laughs> Next issue. Death, Death game. game. Exciting. I do love gladiator fights in sci-fi. It's cool. I'm not sure how Han's supposed to survive against these guys we've seen so far. <laughs> Maybe they'll like put them in they, there with they Chewie. take a full like forearm print for identification. Maybe we he'll, we, he'll um get put in with Chewie. It'll be one of those like in there a Star Trek where Spock has to fight Kirk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those. Yeah, Vulcans are like seem cool until like there's anything that goes wrong, and then like. Now we must ritualistically fight to the death. It's like, what What kind of system do you guys have? Isn't that why they, they're they all logical? Because they were so violent or something? Because we're rage-filled maniac. We're shaved Wookiees at best. So there you go. What do you think? Cool. I'm enjoying it. See, just like the last issue, the art looks nice in these last couple panels, but earlier on it looked kind of goofy to me. Let's see who all... I mean, it's obviously Karma and Infantino, but who's doing the rest? Is it, is it Jean Day again? Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's Wyashek. So yeah, it looks a little bit more back to normal. Except for some fat R2s every now and then. Yeah. At least Luke's legs aren't, like, crazy muscular. You know how they get sometimes. 
Yeah, the letter is guy is named Gaff, so <laughs> you know what you're getting into, guys. The spine mines of Castle Gaff. Hey, who who did the lettering? Gaff. Gaff. R two's um fat looking on this this first page too. Yeah. But all right, no biggie. That was issue 19, everyone. We managed to do Good it in stuff. one episode. Didn't have to split it because there was just so much action. Yeah, the couldn't, pace was, was just so relentless. We couldn't stop. Couldn't take a break. It's too exciting. Couldn't, couldn't break it up with our normal delightful commentary. So good, yeah. So that was a fun one. Coming up next, we'll see. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, issue 20, because I want to see Han in the gladiator pits. Death game. <laughs> I want to see Chewie in the gladiator pits. I want to see the droids in the gladiator pits. And poor Luke. Is he just going to... He's going to sleep this whole one out. He's just going to wake up one day. (laughs) What happened? Well, we were gladiators for a while. That's how we spun our wheels back then. Leia was... How do we not have Luke, like, for four months? He's just asleep. Leia was um, human trafficked for a minute. Yikes. By some senator. And uh, Han was killed in the gladiator pits. Chewie became a gladiator yeah. champion and is now retired on a yeah. on a fancy planet somewhere. Think about that the next time you try one of your little Jedi trances. The droids have been converted to vacuums. So everything's <laughs> good. Yeah. Was that not what you saw in your trance? Was that what not made you, you yell no? You inherited all of their bill too, so <laughs> yeah. So you owe you owe so, us quite a bit of money. <clears throat> well, medical care is expensive, and rebels don't have insurance. It's, you're unregistered. That's that's a, well, a fun way of saying it. He's unregistered. Yeah, has not paid his uh, got his credit yeah. established. So yeah, into the gladiator pit. <laughs> just toss him into the pit. <laughs> it's like a big pit of people fighting in the audience. Sometimes they'll just walk up out of the audience and throw someone in. <laughs> All right, okay. guys. So good. So we that. enjoyed that one. Okay. Yeah. Look out for more coming up soon. Look for as as we are must be it's at, by this point coming close to finishing up our week for week reviews of the Mandalorian as the episodes come out. So that's out there. Look to TV my dinner on our YouTube channel now. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna we start putting up some some extra content there. And always, as always, go to tvatmydinner.com where you can see links for all of this kind of stuff there. So it's a one-stop shop if you're interested in everything that we put out because it all gets linked on that site. Uh, check out Sean's book on Amazon. The Great Cosmic Christmas Adventures. gift. You still have time. Maybe not mm-hmm. much. I don't know when this is coming out. Either way, just get it for next year. If you missed it, sit on it. <laughs> yeah, just buy it early. Wrap it up for next next yeah. Christmas for somebody. <laughs> Now, for someone you haven't seen for a while, and they're like, oh, hey, I never saw you Christmas. And you're like, yeah, well, I had this present for you. <laughs> yeah. never so, I'm you know, just saying. You know, so, some of us are considerate and thoughtful, and others aren't as yeah. much. That's just, yeah. Okay. Check it out. All right. Um, until then, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned to this channel. Give us a subscribe. Give us a like, or, you know, definitely give us a comment. If you have to do just one thing, I'd like comments, but... Yeah, I do my best to respond to all the comments. We do. Can. We literally respond to every comment. Now, if you don't want us to respond to your comment, you can tell us that. Yeah, I don't, you I don't mean to some like... distance. That's cool, too. <laughs> He's like, I was going to comment, but I don't want the kind of pressure Mm-mm. knowing that they're going <laughs> to respond to it. <laughs> Within uh, minutes. I'm not trying to start a conversation with you thirsty weirdos. Makes me sad how quickly they respond. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see you soon. My name's Brooks. I'm Sean. Bye-bye. Snoop.